In this video, let us continue to solve problems based on trigonometric ratios of light angles. So here we've got a problem which says uh, find the values of, well, find the values of a lot of problems yet to come, but let's start off with this one, cos of minus 480 degrees. We know that cos of minus theta is simply cos theta. If you just go back to those video where I've explained this, so cos of minus theta is just cos theta. So now, cos of 480 degrees. 480 degrees is more than 360, right? You know, we just have a quadrant where we know, we know up till 360 here. You know, it starts off with 0 here, it goes to 90 here, comes to 180 here, comes to 270, and comes to 360. And then it goes on again. The 360, you add a 90, you know, it is uh, going to be, what, 450 degrees. It's going to be 500 and... Uh, 40 degrees and so on in terms of 90s, you know, multiples of 90s is going to keep cycling, but we can't do that for bigger numbers, can we? This is the first quadrant, this is the second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, this is the fourth quadrant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you, you know, a simple method as to find which quadrant a particular angle lies in without breaking your head much. All you have to do is just write it in terms of multiples of 90, so that means uh, we can write cos. First of all, let's see what cos can be written as. Cos can be written as 90 times 5, right? 95 times is 450 plus 30 degrees, right? So one thing is we need to see which quadrant this 480 lies in. It lies in how do you find out? Now this number is very important. This 5 is important. Now what we are going to do is leave the first quadrant, start from the second quadrant and count 5 right so one two three four and five we end in the second quadrant so therefore 480 belongs to second quadrant this is kind of a shortcut method leave the first quadrant count from the second one two three four and five so 480 lies in the second quadrant second quadrant cos is negative therefore it's going to be minus all right and on top of that it's a odd number right so cos is going to change to sine so it's going to be minus sine of 30 degrees that's what it's going to be so sine 30 is 1 by 2 and minus of sine 30 degrees is minus 1 by 2 so therefore the value of cos of minus 480 is minus 1 by 2 well so that's how you're going to do uh, let's solve another problem so that you clearly understand this concept of finding the quadrant and so on So now here we've got sine of minus 1125 degrees. Well, how do you find the quadrant now? Don't worry about it. Let's see how do we write it in terms of 90 degrees. So just see uh, what multiple of 90 is uh, 1125. We know that 90 times 10 should give us 900. From there on just add 90, 90, 90 into 11 is 990. 90 into 12 should give us 1080. 90 into 13 should give us 1000. What? 1170, right? So it lies between this. So let's. Here it is. So what we can write this as. We can write. First of all, sine of minus theta is minus sine theta, right? So it's going to be minus sine 1125 degrees. Now this can be written as minus sine. What, 90 times 12 is going to be 1080 plus how much uh, is going to give you 1125 plus 45 is going to give you 1125. So we figured this out. So this is a good thing now. So next thing what? Look at this number. It is 12, right? Leave the first one and count from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 ends in the first quadrant. So therefore, 1125 belongs to the first quadrant. First quadrant, all are positive. All right, so you don't have to worry about it. Sine minus sine is going to remain minus sine because it's a positive, right? Positive into negative is going to be negative. So now, sine of what? Now, what the quadrant part helps us to determine the sine only. So it's going to be negative. Now, how did I determine if it was sine? Because this number. 12 is even number. It's not odd number. So sine is not going to change to cos. It's going to be just sine. 
now sine of what sine of 45 degrees so sine of 45 degrees is 1 by root 2 and minus sine of 45 degrees is minus 1 by root 2 so therefore sine of minus 1125 degrees is minus 1 by root 2 that's all it's pretty simple this problem all you have to understand is how do you determine which quadrant this particular number lies in once you determine the quadrant you get to know the sign by the rule of ASTC, you know, all are positive, only sine and cos, tan and cot, and then cos and sec. So once you determine the sine, this multiple number, 5 or 12, if it is even, sine is not going to change. Nothing is going to change. Cos is going to remain cos, sine is going to remain sine, and so on. But if it is odd number, sine is going to change to cos, cos changes to sine, cot changes to tan, tan changes to co uh, cot, and so on. So that helps you determine if it's going to be what trigonometric ratio. Once you get that, you just have to plug this number here. In this case, it's 30. In this case, it's 45. You need to know the basic ratio. You know, sine of 30 degrees is half. Sine of 45 degrees is 1 by root 2. And whatever sign, just add it to it. And here we've got the answers. So this ends these kind of problems as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with a more advanced problems based on trigonometric ratios of allied angles. Thank you.